RET2 is now officially available across our quantum and cloud guard network security solutions. With this software release, we've elevated security, simplicity, and scalability to a whole new level. It was designed to address our customers' top priorities. We've added new AI-based threat prevention engine to ensure top-tier protection against zero-day threats. Our latest solution allows developers to access Gateway directly in order to change the policy in a controlled manner, supporting data center agility on one hand while keeping your assets secure. We've built a new architecture of clusters and virtualized gateways to simplify and scale operation. And we've introduced quantum-ready cryptography, encrypting your traffic today to protect it well into the future. Traditional threat prevention methods can keep up with evasive, rapidly deployed phishing and bot campaigns. This is why we built a new powerful AI engine that finds hidden relationships and patterns to block novel malicious campaigns and threats in the first critical 24 hours. Nearly 500,000 threats and 29,000 zero-day campaigns were prevented just in the last month. We've also added an automatic URL categorization engine that accurately block dangerous or inappropriate websites using natural language processing. With this engine, we are able to block sites that were previously uncategorized. Let's talk operation. Organization today change constantly with new applications, shifting infrastructure, new networks, and more. However, traditional solutions delay business operations with unnecessary tickets and slow spin-up of new tech stack. DevOps automation is hindered by the inability to implement instant security policy updates for dynamic applications. Let's see how RIT2 solves it. Our new firewall virtualization architecture dramatically simplifies the provisioning and the operation of virtual firewall systems in the data center. DevOps teams can rapidly provision new technology stacks by spinning up virtual firewalls in seconds. The new solution provides eight times faster virtual firewall provisioning with a unified management and APIs across virtual and physical security gateways. VSX is now a native solution in any security environment. What about the management of clusters? With the new cluster architecture called Elastic Excel, you can now set up and configure only the first cluster member, and all the other members will clone configuration and software automatically. You can add a cluster member on the fly seamlessly and get close to linear scalability. This solution also allows you to support dual site failover. RIT2 introduces dynamic access layer with gateway API capability. This capability empowers DevOps to secure data center application via API. Now, DevOps can make their changes directly and automatically into the firewall. This enables automation with instant security updates to keep up with the speed of DevOps and modern application development lifecycle. Changes can be applied immediately on the fly. Let's see Aviva Bromovich, Head of Product Management on Network Security, demoing API-based self-service security layer for DevOps. Thank you, Natalie. Imagine we have a data center where we need to increase the capacity and scalability. Naturally, we look at a clustering option. Today, I want to show you a new clustering technology released as part of R82 we call Elastic Excel, allowing us to onboard a new cluster member with very little effort and disruption. First, let's look at R82 Smart Console. As we can see, there is already a gateway object representing the cluster, and it's exactly the same as a standard gateway object. Now, let's look at Gaia Web UI. As we can see, we already have one active member. You will notice we see we have a new indication of pending gateways. At the bottom of the screen, you can see new tool in R82 called Insights that allow live monitoring and system diagnostics. In this demo, we will use this tool to monitor the cluster onboarding state. In addition to the web UI, we can see on the Insights panel, we have a new cluster member requesting to join. This new member is standard out-of-the-box gateway before we even ran the first-time wizard. All we did is physically connect it to the same sync network as the existing member. Now we click on pending gateways and we add a new gateway to the existing cluster as a load-sharing gateway. 
From this point on, the entire operation is fully automated. At the bottom part of the screen, you can notice the progress of this process. We notice that the cluster member is now cloning the image of the existing one. This cloning includes aligning the exact same software releases and operating system configuration settings. Once this is done, the member will reboot. The boot-up process takes only two to three minutes, and once complete, we can see that the new cluster member is fetching its policy and rebooting again. From this point, it is part of the cluster, and we can see its health status on the top screen. We can also see it's performing a full state sync from the existing member. Once completed, we have a new cluster member up and running and starting to load share our network security. All this without opening Smart Console, pushing policy, or affecting the existing network traffic. This is really amazing, and we didn't stop there. Now that the cluster is up and running, let's go back to Smart Console and see another new cool feature. We call this Dynamic Policy Layer. This feature is really useful for DevOps to add rules, remove rules, and change the policy directly on the gateway without the need to go through the management using API. Let's take a look at R82 Smart Console to see how the dynamic policy layer is defined. First, we use the existing concept of a policy layer, which is unique to Checkpoint, to define the scope of the underlying API-based sublayer. Next, we mark the content of this layer as dynamic. From this point, all policy changes to this layer can be implemented directly with an API call using JSON format. Let's make a few changes to the policy using Postman. We're adding access for our developers using their identities to allow access to a newly provisioned Jira server instance. That's it. The developers can now get immediate access to the new server. There is virtually no limit on the amount of changes that can be done this way. And policy install is practically immediate. You are probably asking yourself at this point, how do we see or monitor the traffic? Let's go back to our smart console and click on log and monitoring view. We can see that the newly accepted traffic is logged and the activity is marked as accepted by our dynamic policy layer. What we actually showed in this demonstration is provisioning of a totally new gateway, adding it to a cluster and dynamically continuously changing the policy. All this without the need to open the smart console. This is a fantastic step we're taking to make our network security the most simple and intuitive. And we're raising the bar on our user experience.